guys, it's Yumi. You may recognize me from my main channel, Psych2Go. And if you don't know who I am, hi guys, nice to meet you. My name is Yumi and I am one of the partners of Psych2Go. I am super excited to announce that we are launching our second channel and that is called Psych2Go Education. So Psych2Go was built to raise awareness on mental health issues, but we soon realized that a lot of people are asking for help and advice. So what better way to do it than to start a new channel, right? And to be honest, we couldn't do it without you guys and all of your support. So now we have Psych2Go, where we're going to be talking about psychology and mental health, and Psych2Go Education, where we're going to be giving advice and potentially have interviews by professionals to help us out too. So for example, the difference would be Psych2Go is more like seven signs you have a toxic parent, whereas Psych2Go Education is going to be how do you deal with toxic parents? So, you know, this is so exciting and it's a great way to uh, kickstart 2020, especially everything that happened. But, you know, I want to say thank you so much for all of your support. Um, we couldn't have done it without you guys. So stay tuned and see you guys next time. Bye. We've all been told to change. Whether it's mom nagging you to keep a tidier space, a friend advising you to be more reliable, or partner imploring you to be less temperamental. You may have even gone to the point where it's your own voice dishing out the advice. We all want to be better, but why at times is it so difficult? Despite our best intentions, it can be hard to know what to do while fending off critical voices on all sides. But changing yourself is not as hard as you think. Here are three meaningful steps towards self-improvement that you can start today. One, motivation. Recognize and admit your faults. It often takes a painful life experience to help us realize that we need to change, and you may be left feeling emotionally vulnerable. But, as much as it sucks to admit, these negative experiences are a necessary bump in the road towards self-improvement, one that provides a valuable booster, motivation. So don't fret. You've already decided that you don't want any more negative experiences as a result of your mistakes. With that challenge cleared, now is the time to activate that booster and speed towards the next step. 2. Discipline. Create good habits. Lapses in progress, for example, reverting back to your old behavior on accident, can lead to feelings of disappointment, shame, and a subsequent lack of motivation. That's where a good set of habits can step in to help. The key to true change is to make new behavior habitual. And while motivation comes and goes, habits are built upon something quite different discipline. Instead of being overwhelmed by the daunting task of transforming your whole personality, fragment that goal into smaller, more manageable actions that you can incorporate daily. If you're trying to stop your temper tantrums, practice mindfulness with a few minutes of meditation. If social media is your vice, try this. Each time you pick up your phone, decide mentally what you want to use it for. Complete those predetermined tasks, then put the device away. If it sounds hard, it should. We are focusing on discipline after all. These simple habits absolutely count as progress, and completing them will help you feel like you're getting somewhere, even on those days when the motivation gouge is dangerously low. 3. Accountability. Tell your friends. Bet you thought you had to go this alone, didn't you? Well, of course not. Don't get me wrong. Changing yourself is absolutely your sole responsibility. But that doesn't mean you have to go through it alone. Let your loved ones keep you in check. If you have people whom you can trust, let them know what you've decided to start working on and how you'll do it. Not only can they offer some accountability, that crucial nudge when you've slipped up and failed to notice, they can also offer the forgiveness that you tend not to afford yourself. Don't be afraid to lean on them for emotional support.